Already it's the month of May and the end of the school year. I'm sure for some of you, you're wondering where the time has gone. And for others of you, it has gone by awfully slowly. For me, the time has flown by and the experiences that I have had as my first year as superintendent have been highlighted by our incredible students and by our professional staff. I have a few items of business in this video before highlighting our amazing happenings throughout the month of May. First, throughout our monthly videos this year, I have tried to share some of our district goals for the year. These goals will actually continue into next year as well. The goals that we have been talking about are the following four. Increase student achievement and support, ensure a culture of belonging, expand innovative practices and workforce connections, and engage staff in meaningful professional learning and quality district support. Again, those four goals will be continuing into next year as well. So you'll continue to hear more. In alignment with our goals and to continuous, continuously improve our culture and climate, next week, each family in the district will have an opportunity to complete a survey about your child's learning experiences throughout the district, as well as your perceptions of your school's environment, school safety, and your personal involvement in school and our school building. Likewise, students in grades four through 12 will be completing a similar survey in class the week of May 16th, related to a positive learning experience, school safety, and climate and culture in the district. Watch for more information on these surveys in a district email later this week. All right, now on to the excitement of May. As an educator, May is a special month because it begins this week with the dedication to our teachers and staff with Teacher and Staff Appreciation Week. Please take time this week to thank our district employees that make the wonderful happenings in our classroom each and every day. We care so deeply about our staff and the high expectations that they have for our students. Don't forget to tell them thank you this week. Then this time of month ends in conclusion with the celebration of our students and the tremendous growth that they have made throughout the month. The celebrations range from class parties and rewards to building wide picnics. We have high school banquets and we have awards nights. And then the culmination of our senior events with the senior walk at each elementary school. We have senior parade and senior picnic and we have the breakfast and baccalaureate. And then of course, senior graduation. And we want to just recognize all of those accomplishments with the culmination on the 26th with graduation. It certainly is a full month. Please make sure that you're aware that our last day of school is May 27th with a half day that day. As a full month of celebration, it is indeed a way to highlight just what a wonderful year it has been. Thank you for our dedication and thank you for your partnership for this year. Have a wonderful and a very safe and happy end of the school year and summer.